So, you want to make an episode of Game of Thrones? Well, you came to the right place. I just finished binging all six seasons and listening to the audiobooks on Audible. At this point, you could probably call me a grandmaster of Game of Thrones knowledge. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is your characters. Now, naming them is a fairly simple process. Obviously, they're going to be bastards, because come on, it's Game of Thrones. To name them, all you have to do is pick the naturally occurring thing that is most prevalent where they're born, and... Um... Uh... Oh, well, that's it. So, if a character was born in Egypt, he'd be Joseph Sand. In Ireland, Jacob Moss. Or, in Flint, Michigan, Samuel Dirtywater. Once the characters have names, they need house sigils and mantras. Here on Earth, a sigil is an inscribed or painted symbol considered to have magical powers. In Westeros, it's a little flag with a picture that exists so that other people with flag pictures know who they are from far away. These sigils can be literally anything. A glove, a man being skinned alive, or even a bear just chilling in the woods. The house mantra can also be literally anything you want it to be. And winter is coming. You just have to say it a ton of times. Winter is coming. 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 Like way too many fucking times. Don't say it. Don't fucking say it. The characters that inhabit the world of Westeros are all morally ambiguous. No one is ever completely good or evil. They morally flip-flop and constantly change sides. Arya is just an innocent girl whose family was slaughtered? Think again. <laughs> Jamie is a ferocious, backstabbing villain? Think again. Arya's probably dead too, but there's still a chance to find Sansa and get her somewhere safe. Stannis would be a good king? Think again. <laughs> If the character's a man, he'll be one of three things. A fat weakling, a murderous terrible person, or a misunderstood murderous terrible person. If the character's a woman, she will either hate being a woman, feel powerless as a woman, or be made fun of for being a woman. It's not fun to be a female in Game of Thrones. Actually, it's not fun to be anyone in Game of Thrones. No entirely good characters exist. Well, they might exist, but only for a bit. Make sure these goody two-shoes know what happens to their kind in Westeros. Speaking of death, this show is chocked full of it. And not just the two knights have a sword fight and one is stabbed slash crushed to death by his opponent kind of death, although that is in the show. The kind of death that sets this show apart from the rest is the loss of innocent life. People who have done absolutely nothing wrong and are just in the wrong place at the wrong time are routinely stabbed, slashed, crushed, poisoned, decapitated, and eaten by dogs. Sometimes creators of TV shows and films think that showing less is a good thing. They give you a little taste of something and then let your brain fill in the gaps. On Game of Thrones, that is not the case. Tastefully cutting away from a scene of brutal violence isn't only looked down upon, it is punished. You must show every kill in the most graphic detail possible. The more the gore reminds you of Saw 4, the better. Also, if you can manage to have the characters screaming in pain when the violence occurs, you get bonus points. <laughs> This show is all about character minutia, not boobs and dragons. You have to take this seriously, very seriously. The only way jokes and little bits of happiness can enter the picture is if you plan to do something horrid to the characters that caused it. There will be no happiness here. The main goal the creators of Game of Thrones set out to accomplish when production began was to confuse the absolute hell out of anyone who watched their show. It's over 59 hours long at this point, and there have been so many little moments that are set up so subtly that either no one cares or no one remembered that they existed. Like, what? What is that? Who is that? I is it Stark, maybe? It's a, it's something. The sex scenes in Game of Thrones are infamous for being extremely graphic and realistic. In fact, the show went as far as casting porn stars in several of the roles so they would be comfortable with the amount of nudity and faux sex. Now, if you run into some trouble on set with an actor who's not comfortable being naked on camera, don't panic. All you have to do is get someone else to strip and track a keyed out version of the original actor's head on top of theirs, and no one will be the wiser. When making an episode of this show, you will spend a massive amount of money on the sets, costumes, hair, makeup, weapons, and horses. As everyone in the cast and crew likes to say, a television show on this scale has never happened before. You know, it's just vast. It's just an epic. It is huge. Don't waste production value. Either shoot extremely wide so you can show off the obscenely expensive set, 
or very, very close up, so you can really feel the unnecessary textures that countless production teams have spent millions on. These shots need to either be locked off or on a slider, and lit as though they're Rembrandt paintings from the 1600s. Now, of course, when I'm saying this, I'm talking about dialogue scenes. If any action whatsoever takes place, these rules go right out the window. Your goal when shooting the battle sequences should be to give the epileptic viewers the most severe seizures of their lives. <laughs> Even if it's just a one-on-one -on -one battle, machine gun fast cutting is the way to go, so make sure you have dozens of cameras rolling. <laughs> Finally, the most important thing to remember when making a Game of Thrones episode is this. Steel from Lord of the Rings. Oh, Sam. I need you here, Sam. You know, I've always taken my influence from J.R. Tolkien. Yeah, yeah, George. We know. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Audible. They are offering my viewers, you guys, a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership if you go to audible.com slash bobby. The link is in the description. I've been listening to A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, and it is absolutely fantastic. It's what got me in the mood to make this video. Now, if you aren't a Game of Thrones fan, don't worry. Audible has a massive selection of audiobooks for you to choose from. So just go to audible.com slash bobby to get a free title and start listening today. Whoa, the camera changed. Yeah, the uh, A7S died in the middle of shooting the outro. So I thought, hey, let's do it on the phone. You can hit me up on Twitter at thebobbyburns and Instagram at bobbyburnsofficial. The link to my video, how to be a YouTube film critic is right there on the screen. Make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. And I'll see you later, guys.